Hi everyone. We're going to talk today about our teacher's edition for the grade seven into math program. You'll notice that we're looking here at a two volume set for the teacher's edition. It is a hardcover edition. Okay. Unlike the student workbook, the, the, the soft cover write-in edition. Guys, I know that it's for seventh grade volume one, and it's the teacher's edition by looking there at the spine. Okay. So let's take a look inside. And I want to start by looking here at the unit opener pages. And if you remember for Into Math, we've broken the program up into those big ideas at each grade level. Those are our units. Inside of each unit, you'll see, you'll, you'll see different numbers of modules based on the unit. And then inside of those modules, you'll have groups of lessons. And we'll look at each of those, the units, the modules, and the lessons inside of the teacher's guide here. But I want to start here at that unit opener page. Every unit, as we talked about in our student edition overview, has that unit uh, task. It's always a STEM task. It'll take the students into exploring how math works in the real world a little bit, something that I really like that we've included. Um, will help you make the math seem more relevant to our students. As we move over here to the right-hand side, you know, we've talked about learning mindset in some of our other videos in this series. Again, we see that right here at the beginning of the unit. By the way, guys, this is the student-facing page. Your teacher resources are out here in the margin, of course. So we put that learning mindset right in front of our students from the very beginning because it is important for them. And then we guide them through that process as the teacher. Okay, so as we move on, you know, we talked about each unit is broken into modules. At the beginning of each module in your teacher's edition, you'll see the, you, the module planning page. And, you know, we've talked about that learning arc as we've gone through some of our other videos. That learning arc is highlighted right here. So we've got four lessons. We go through the entire arc in this module. You'll see in some modules, we don't have each of the three different types of lessons. You know, that sometimes that arc is extended over several modules. Sandwiched between our lessons, of course, are these data checkpoints. This is something that's really important to us. You know, as we looked at the, the planning and pacing guide, we saw inside of there how we've developed into math to drive student growth. And for, for, for that student growth, we really need to be assessing our students and using that data to drive our instruction. Be on the lookout for that as we dig a little bit deeper here. So as we turn the page, we've talked before about the language routines. These are great, not just for our English learning students, but for all of our students, you know, building those routines around understanding the language inside of math. As we move then into the student module opener pages, okay, we've got an activity right off the bat. Again, we're assessing students' prior knowledge and determining what gaps we may need to fill in. And in that same line of thinking, at the beginning of every module, we have the Are You Ready? Now, if you're familiar with our Go Math program, you might remember the Show What You Know at the beginning of each chapter. Same thing here. We call it Are You Ready? And what we're really doing, this is a data checkpoint. So we're trying to assess our students and their prior knowledge. Okay, so we give them this pre-assessment. We use this tool down here at the bottom then to help look at these results and then make some data-driven decisions and differentiation. This is a really powerful tool, guys. Okay, and then, of course, as we move on here, okay, we're going to take a look at a lesson planning page. All right, so we've looked at the units. We've looked at a module opener. Now we're looking here at the lesson opener. Okay, this tells us what type of lesson it is. This one happens to be a connecting concepts and skills. Of course, we focus on some of the, the standards, the ICANN objectives, those mathematical practices and processes. Of course, the progressions across grade levels. And remember, at the core of our program, a lot of professional learning embedded right here at point of use for you as the teacher. As we turn the page, you know, we're all about flexibility. So options for our warm up, getting our students' brains ready for the math. And then, of course, we know data collection and differentiation are critical for that student growth. 
And so we've included, again, right here at point of use, those options for differentiation and for small group instruction. We have a lot of professional learning resources right here on our YouTube channel around using small group instruction in the classroom. We also have a video here in this series about those tabletop flip charts. Here's the reference to that right here. And then of course, some math center options as well. All the resources you need to pull off those small groups in your classrooms. I really like here where we've laid out some different student sample answers and how we might talk with and interact with our students around those samples. You'll notice over here on the right hand side, we start every, uh, every lesson from the, from the build understanding and the bridging lessons with a spark your, your learning. This is where students drive the learning and the discovery process around math. As we move through the lesson, we move into the build your understanding. These are included in all three types of lessons. The step it out tasks are next. Those you'll find in the bridging lessons and then the procedural fluency lessons at the end of that learning arc. After we finish the step it out, you'll see the check understanding. This is our opportunity in the middle of the lesson to collect some data from our students, assess their current understanding, and then to differentiate based on what we learn about our students. So we've got those differentiation options down here. Again, those will be available digitally, okay? And differentiation built in throughout. You see those leveled questions over here on the left-hand side. As we wrap up a lesson, okay, you'll see, I'm sorry, a module, you'll see the module review at the end. Again, an opportunity for some data collection and differentiation, and that's included throughout. And then of course we have a module assessment available for the teacher there at the end. Okay, so this has been a really quick deep dive into the teacher's edition. If you wanna learn more about our Into Math program, watch the rest of the videos in our unboxing series, and please let us know what extra support you need. Comment below, ask questions. We love to interact with our teachers from all over the globe. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the HMH International Content Cares YouTube channel. If you're looking for more content, click on the video to the right of your screen. Welcome to our global community.